another bow. No, no, no more bows. What's the matter? The act's fine. It's great. But the Gary Sidey has spotted it already. They're holding him up at the stage door. Here's where I make myself scarce. Well, good luck. Oh, into your dressing room, Buster. Hurry up, quick. Hurry up, Daddy. Just so I can get my makeup on. We will, but make it fast. Go on. Let's get out of here. There they are, officer. Uh, just a minute, please. Just a minute. Uh, who? Uh, us? <laughs> yes, uh, we want to see you. If you don't mind, uh, we'd like a few words with you, Mr. Time. Well, what about? Don't you know it's against the law to work a kid on the stage? What kid? The one in your act. Oh, he means Rudy. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Why, Rudy's admitted. Yeah. <laughs> we'd like to talk to him ourselves. Uh, yes, if you don't mind. Uh, well, no, I don't mind. Uh, you, you don't mind, do you, June? No, no, I don't mind. <laughs> you see, we don't mind. <laughs> well, where is he? In his dressing room. And where is his dressing room? Oh, right down here. Well, would you mind taking us to it, please? Uh, oh, they want to be taken to his dressing room. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, why did you say so? Come right this way. Rudy? Yes? Can we come in? Why, uh, sure, Joe. Come right in. So, folks, to see you, Rudy. Hello, folks. Uh, you'll have to excuse my appearance, just having a once-over lightly. Folks, this is Colonel Rudolph L. Vanderhooten. Uh, how do you do? How do you do? I'll have to... What's the matter, officer? The joint pinched you something? Well, Colonel, I'll tell you... Uh, we are from the Gary Society. Not another benefit. Oh, Joe, you know how tired I am. Well, this is not... Is it a worthy cause, folks? Are you sure we're not wasting our time? June, what is this? Uh, well, Rudy, there's a law in this town that children aren't allowed to sing or dance on the stage. They caught our act. Now, don't get sore. They think you're a kid. <laughs> <laughs> that shows how good you are. You ought to take a bow. Oh, so I really fooled them, huh? Yeah. I'd better cut down the impersonation. First thing you know, they won't let me work on the stage. What else can a little guy like me do? Of course, it's a natural mistake, and I don't hold it against you. Uh, just to prove there's no hard feelings, have a cigar. Well, thank you, Colonel. How about you, sir? No, thank you, uh, Colonel. But, uh, you have one of mine. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> yes, of course. Nothing like a good clear Havana, I always say. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I, I always enjoy a good cigar with my port after dinner. <coughs> oh, is the smoke bothering you, ladies? No, no, I'm no. I'm sorry. You, you go right ahead. He isn't disturbing you in the least, is he? Oh, not at all. As a matter of fact, my doctor advised me to give up smoking. But I said, what's it going to do to me, Doc? Stunt my growth? <laughs> uh, well, are you satisfied now? Yes, we are. Sure. Yeah. Goodbye, Colonel. Goodbye. Sorry to bother you. Not at all. <laughs> oh, baby, look oh. at you. You're as pale as a ghost. Oh, oh, you'll get over it. Besides, it was a great piece of acting. I'm not kidding, Pop. I'm, I'm awful sick. I must have swallowed a lot of smoke or something. I think I'm dying. Well, a glass yeah, of water picks up after all. There's only one cigar. The main thing is that we fooled the Gary Society. <laughs>